How's it go, chicks and mates? This is Mr. Chichelton. We're back with the Herb Sims in the City. It has been five seconds for me, but I'm sure for you lovely people out there, it's been a day, which sounds like torture. But hey. Okay, so we're going to befriend Chris, and we're going to give her our squeegee and bucket. Come on, Chris, where are you? I mean, you look... I mean, like Chris as in crystal. Chris Thistle. <laughs> Chris Thistle. Oh, you must have cruel parents. Okay. Um... Move in. I don't have a house. I don't know how I'm going to be able to do that. Ask for an errand. Give a gift. I, w I was thinking giving the squeegee would be easy at first. Because I don't know what she likes. Ugh, I'll try this. Oh. Is it it's not really a gift though, is it? I know it's hard to give up some things. No, you don't. You're not giving me anything. Kiss. It's a bit early for that. Fine. How about a joke? I've heard that one before, kid. I've heard them all working this dang job. Thanks. Movies, carnival, books. How's the new... Well, it's not really new. How's the... I know, no new films. I was going to say The Avengers. How's The Avengers? I love going to the movies at least once a week. It's nice to escape the sim world every once in a while. That's good. How about science? Okay, someone doesn't like science. Don't pass me with that tech talk. Talk about something relevant to everyday life, okay? You still look like you're having a crap. Compliment. Of course I've not got great muscle tone. All I do every day is push this mop and lift trash cans. Oh, such a future Chris has. Uh, jobs. Those dang pigeons will keep us in business for a long, long time. Yes, because they shit every second. Oh my god, don't don't take me back to that nightmare, Chris. Oh, this is my babe. How about coffee shop? If you want a delicious cup of joe, look no further than the cafe downtown. I would, but I'm kind of locked upstairs in the roof because of you. What's up? Okay, so I guess this is the mission thing. Can I live up here until I find a place in town? Please. Okay, she's. You can live down in the unfurnished penthouse if you stay out of sight. But you're not getting a... Ah. But you're not getting a free ride. I'm putting you to work. I won't let you down. This place isn't too pretty, but it'll pass. A good streety hangout, get me? The vending machine in the lobby is broken and has been known to spit out free food. And you should shower and get some rest before you get cozy. Sure. I'm just gonna go with that. Am I free to leave the roof now? Am I free to leave your prison? Your prison ward. Okay. I love how she looks all gangster. And I'm like, I look like I'm from the future. Yeah, you sweep that floor. Sweep it! Oh my god. Look at me run! I would make another Usain Bolt reference, but I already did that in Zoo Tycoon. So... Oh, I don't know what to call you. Find a name for a famous jogger. Anyway. Take a shower, take a nap, eat something from the vending machine. Sure. Um, I'm guessing here? Oh my god. <laughs> vending machine, how are you doing? Let's get a snack. Oh, it's free food. I wish I had a vending machine like that. Could use a bit more to eat, to be fair. Give me the food. He sounds happy to eat his food, doesn't he? I mean, I would again if it was a free vending machine. But, you know. That's not even a, a shout for like, oh yeah, that's like a Yahoo! -va! <laughs> He's shouting your Hoover. Shouting for me to Hoover the place. Um, I've already forgotten our objectives. I've already forgotten. Um, one was a shower and one was a nap. Isn't there a shower in the water, Jim? You're not a puppy. Don't worry, we'll find, we'll find a place. See, look, here's a toilet. Go pee pee. If you can sit on it. Okay, yeah. Look at me whilst you're peeing. I love that. If you keep doing that, I'll make you pee in the sink next time. Um, oh, there's no shower down here. This sucks. How about the penthouse? It's our place. 
It looks terrible. <laughs> it, I'm sure there are some buildings that have penthouses like this. Actually, no, that's what I was about to argue. What penthouse, what building place has a room like this with a random shower and a couch and really crap textiles? I Okay, first off, I would argue this is the 2000s, and I didn't know what the 2090s were like because I was like a kid. But more important, second off, I can put this in my pocket? I mean, I broke it, so I suppose I really wouldn't want to, but how could I fit that in my pocket? Again, how could I fit like a bucket and sponge in my pocket? I mean, sponge I could, but a bucket? This just proves we're from a dystopian future. We figured out how to miniaturize things. This white costume had a meaning. Yeah, you run around, you old man bolt. That's totally what I do when I sleep. I flop around like a dead caterpillar. I think it wasn't taken at one of our objectives anyway. Ah, oh, and time's just going forward. He doesn't look asleep, he looks dead. He looks like some people are about to, about to make some vows about him. Here lies I'm a pool. He lived well. Bit of a weird name to say at a funeral. What are the what? Oh, okay. Goal complete. Call to Chris Thistle. I can't get over that. I wish I could change some of the names of this game. They're so, they're so weird. I'm wondering, would it be better for me to carry stuff in my pockets? I, uh, I'm just going to go with the objectives for now. I don't know what the hell is going on. Where's my babe? Where's Chris Thistle? Where's my best friend? When I say best friend, we're more just under friends because I think 40 is a friend. Tower lobby. Ah! Oh. A new person. Lily Gates is the name. Are you in need of legal counsel? No? Well, why are you talking to me? Bitch! I could charge you for all the time you spend with me, you know. I'm sorry. That didn't sound sincere, but legally I am obligated to accept your apology. Okay. She's an obvious bitch, so I'm gonna pretend I don't know you. I'll probably regret those choice of words when I need her, but still. Chris, what's up, my main babe? What's up? What's up? Okay, I showered, slept, and found the vending machine. Good! Now you're settled in. Now you can help me with some work. Yay! Gosh, look at the time. It's hit your on that time already. Um, let me at him. I mean, this is a game, right? Great! Daddy Big Bugs wants this building up and running ASAP, which means that during foundings need to be fixed. Also, I brought you a bed, so move it up to the penthouse. And see if you can fix my busted television while you're at it. Okay. Apparently, I know how to do all that. Well, the big cutter. Press start. Right, what we got? We got move the bed to the suite, repair the television, repair two drinking fountains. Right, drinking fountains, I know where those are because I think, I think we passed them in the gym. I'm really wondering what this building does. It has law offices, it has a gym. Who the hell are you? Hello, I'm Misty Waters. I finally escaped the drudgery of Sim Valley and came here to Minneapolis to open my own fitness center. Stop by sometime. You look like you could use some exercise. I am just meeting all the fit chicks today. I mean, you could make a porn of it. Flirt. Yes, please. Yes, my feet are tired. Oh, you sly boy. What did I say to her? I just say. Oh my god. I'm trying to wonder what I said. I'm just like, wow, you're feeling tired, but that suits me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please, internet, erase that. Erase that from existence. Babe, I love you too. I do want to meet a man, though. Repair. You're not really repairing it. You're just fiddling with the... You're squeezing the front of it. I mean, if I wanted to repair my, ca repair my camera, I wouldn't go... But you know what? This is herbs, and I'm sure Game Boy Advance will have that many amazing graphics anyway. 
Oh. No, don't drink. Herbs don't need to drink. They just need to eat. Where are the other fountains then? I thought they'd be all up here. She looks like an impatient bitch. I don't like her. She scares me. Right, is this one broken? Let me... There we go, right. So, that's the fountains. Apparently, Chris bought me a bed. And there's something else she did for me. Yay! <laughs> uh, so, is the bed in the penthouse? No. It probably told me, didn't it? I probably just didn't listen. Move the bed to the suite. Repair the television. What? What bed? What suite? Oh, unless... Is it in my inventory? God, I can't remember if I use R button. Friends. No, it's not. Right. Roof. Oh, I don't know. Law offices? Oh. Why is that? Hold on, wait. So, there's a random little television next to this workshop. But in the other room, that's a television, isn't it? Why do you need a television here? What's the point? This fountain better be broken. Oh, good. If there's a third one, I'd be a bit annoyed. Okay, so I've got to take this bed. In the pocket. Because I can fit a bed in my pocket. Um, I hope this doesn't kill me. Oh no, he's just like fiddling in front of it, just like <laughs> subliminal messaging, children. Subliminal. Yay. Action. No, herbs, herbs. Don't turn into a creepy pasta. Don't turn into Star Wars. Who is that? I'm a poo! <laughs> that, that's what I was waiting for. I am Harlem King's artificially intelligence pre-recorded message. What year period is this? Like it looks 1990s and 2000s, but now we have pre-recorded messages. We have holograms apparently. Oh, this is Mr. King. Mr. King, where are you? Why did you sell your building? Daddy Big Buck scammed me. He said he wanted to buy the building and made me an offer I couldn't refuse. What did you do? I refused. <laughs> yeah, that, that's good. You, yeah. And that made him angry, so he offered me more money and all expenses paid trip to Paradise Island. That sounds nice. And that's when you sold the building. No, wait, kid, I don't sell it like that. No, I asked him to throw a private yacht into the deal. At least we, we got managed by a good businessman. Oh, and then? Well, he said okay, and that's when I sold him the building. Oh, I'm a poo. I'm so ashamed. No, nothing will stop the stand big bucks and turn Minneapolis into still toy chest. Why don't you just say no, then? Or... Let's be fair, if any of us were in his shoes, we wouldn't have... We would have just accepted it at the first bit. What can I do to help? Correct my terrible mistake. Revenge this foul and most unnatural brow-beating. Work, live, play. Don't see how that's going to be a, like, multi-millionaire, but whatever. One day you may be able to kick Big Bucks out of town and restore King Tower to its former soaring glory. Former soaring glory? It only has six floors. Oh, God. Yes, but consider the history of the place. The charm and the... Oh, okay. It's just so cozy. All right. Won't let you down, Mr. King. Good for you. Oh, he has a good for you face, doesn't he? Goodbye, I'm a poo. Goodbye. Remember me. Remember me. A pre-recorded message and I could reply to it. We must be at least in the year 3000. This must be Futurama without the robots or the aliens. Oh, oh I've still got to move the bed, don't I? Right. Back in my humble abode, with my broken shower that I near, I really need to fix. Where should I put the bed? My bed is apparently an arrow on a yellow mat. That's probably the positioning system, but it still looks weird. Perfect! Now I can talk to Chris and start the next chapter. 
Okay, in the next episode, we will talk to Chris. We will see who this Daddy Big Bucks is. But for now, I think that's going to be it. So, look out for my book. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, see ya.